In this episode, we'll look at scheduling functions. And this is actually something we can do with the power of Postgres as well. And some great extensions called pgnet and pgcron. Now, let's go ahead first and create a new function that we can use to um, schedule and invocate from uh, Postgres from our Postgres database. So let's say superbase functions new. And we'll just say uh, cron schedule. And now let's open up this function. And we'll just do we'll just keep the um, standard hello uh, world function. Um, here out oh, that's the hello name method. But we'll just do a console log, yeah, a console log of the name. There we are. Let's give that a save. And then uh, we'll just deploy that to uh, say superbase functions deploy cron schedule. And so now we can uh, actually uh, inspect. Let's go to our projects is our um, edge functions. And here we have a cron schedule. And we can look at the invocations and the logs and all of that. Great. So now what we can do is we can invoke this using um, an extension called pgnet. Um, so if you want to learn more about pgnet, you can uh, actually check it out in um, the documentation. You can make uh, get requests, uh, post requests, and all of uh, that good stuff. So here we'll make a post request to our function. We'll pass some headers as well because um, we need to pass our um, authorization header. So our bearer and then anon key. And then we'll just pass um, a JSON uh, body. And we'll just concat the name and we'll just do a timestamp. Um, so we can kind of see that the scheduling is, um, is working indeed. Um, in order for this to work, we will need to um, go to our database extensions, uh, database and then extensions. And then you can put in net PG net and you'll need to enable um, this extension uh, on your Superbase account on your Superbase project. Uh, and then we'll go back and what we can do now is we can run this. We can see it's running. And what we get back is a request ID. Now, the thing that's special about pgnet is it's non blocking. So um, it just goes off, makes a request, and then asynchronously um, kind of writes the response to um, the net schema kind of response database. Uh, <clears throat> and so this means that your database is not blocked um, while your request is running. So if the request would take a bit longer time, um, you're not locking up any kind of database resources. So that's that's a really neat thing about pgnet. And so now what we can do is we can go, we can check our invocations. Uh, and we can see here we had our post request. And then we can check our logs as well. And so we can see here, uh, hello functions. And we can now see it's this is just the console log of the name. Um, and you know, as you can see here, we just put name uh, and the timestamp. So that's the timestamp of when we ran this um, query. Okay, great. And so basically, now we can put this together with PG cron to schedule um, a cron to basically run this function on a specific um, schedule. Uh, and again, here in order to do that, we go to our extensions and we enable PG cron, make sure this extension is enabled. And then we can go ahead and we can schedule our cron. Now, um, this is how we unschedule a cron. So once we've got that created, so we'll just keep that in mind to make sure um, we're not uh, 
making too many requests. And then we'll just look at how we're um, scheduling the cron. Um, now, this is the name of our uh, cron. So we can say name. Uh, and then this is the interval that we uh, specify. So in this case, this means every minute. Now there's a really handy tool uh, for scheduling uh, cron. Um, here, cron tab guru. And so we can look at um, this. So basically, the way this works is you specify um, the minute that it should run the hour, the day, the month, uh, uh, and the day of the week, basically. So uh, which day of the month, which month, which day of the week. So if you um, do this, then it would be every minute. If we wanted to say we want to run this um, every day at say midnight, then we'd say, okay, the minute is zero, the hour is zero. We want it every day of every month of every day in the week. And then this would be um, on, uh, yeah, every day, uh, basically at, uh, at midnight. If we wanted to say we want it at 3 a.m., uh, every um, say um, Saturday. So Saturday, I believe is the sixth day. Yes. So of the week, so then we would specify it like that. So this would be uh, every 3am on uh, Saturday. Okay, so here, this is a really handy tool, cron uh, tab .guru to um, configure that. Uh, we'll just set up a basic cron schedule to run every minute here, and then to ping our cron schedule function. So let's give that uh, a go running. And we can actually look at all our uh, cron schedules. So we get a new schema here. So if we go to our table editor, we switch the schema to cron. Uh, we can look at the jobs. Uh, and now we can see here with the job ID three. Uh, and this is our schedule, um, the command that's being run. And um, yeah, whether it's active, and then the, the name is our invoke function every minute. And then we can also look at the job run um, details. Uh, so we can see here uh, succeeded. Um, and so now let's actually go back and look at our logs and refresh and see if we have any uh, more logs here. We don't have it yet. So that means that um, I probably need to chat for another minute uh, before that is coming in. Uh, if we go back to our cron job. Yeah, so this was um, yesterday when I tested this. So now let's uh, ref refresh. Okay, we can see here, we have another um, job that ran, it succeeded. And so now if we go back to our edge functions, refresh this, we can now see um, cron. So um, if we look at how we uh, ran the cron, I actually push yeah, the, the cron message in there. And then now, so we can um, uh, we can differentiate it here. And so this will now run every minute, um, we can wait for uh, another minute. Uh, if we wanted to, maybe I'll just cut it out in the in between. Yeah, and there we are, our cron is running every minute uh, on the dot on the clock, we can see it here, 41, 42. So that is up and running. Now, lastly, um, this is a useful cron. This is just using up resources. It's just to demonstrate to you. So we'll now unschedule uh, our cron. So we can run this here, um, unschedule true. And so now what we can do is we can go back and verify uh, if we go to cron and we look at our jobs. There's no jobs in here. So 
uh, yeah, that's it. This is how you can schedule your functions. Um, not actually just your functions, you can pretty much schedule anything um, really with PG cron. Um, you know, there's a couple examples here. Uh, you can run, you know, a query kind of every time. Um, yeah, or you can invoke a function. And so that's the power of Postgres. Um, Superbase really just gives you uh, a fully fledged Postgres with a bunch of useful extensions. And you can use it to, for example, schedule your functions. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.